Folks, another beautiful day here at the Cyclone Sports Complex in Ames, Iowa for the series finale between the fifth-ranked Oklahoma State Cowgirls and the Iowa State Cyclones. Hello, everyone. My name is Evan Wessling, joined alongside four for the Cyclones this season. This series, they have been lights out defensively. Poulard sends it over to Spellhog at first. She'll step on it herself to get out number one here in the inning. And playing with a lot more energy. And at the plate, the three home runs have been the difference. That one shot over to first base. It is Andrew to Spellhog. So a 4-3 gets you out number two. Angelina Allen, Malaysia Ochoa, and Tiana Poole with Camille Marin behind the plate. And that will be out number three as Wong will fly out to right 0-0 zero, zero after the top of the first. Kilfoyle 2-2 two -two pitch on its way. Ochoa skies that one out into center just like she did yesterday, but not deep enough this time around as it will be caught by Tim. The delivery from Kilfoyle, and it'll be put in play. Hard bat over to first base, but an easy out as Godwin scoops it up and steps on first. Then Oklahoma State hasn't been able to come up with yet so far in this series. And there is a walk by Kilfoyle. So a great at bat there out of Ranchez to get herself on base. Battled off two, and eventually a lot of powers will, power hitters will take it a little bit quicker through the zone. And that will close down the first inning. Swing and a miss out of pool, and it is still a 0-0 ball game after the first inning. I'm a state team, a lot of new faces. Most of these players have never played in Ames before. Nice job there out of Rosie Davis. Gets that one to bloop in to right field for the first hit of the day. Young talent on this roster. Great recovery there out of Andrews. They're going to take a timeout here to make sure. The Iowa State pitchers kind of get a, a little bit more frisky with, with the zone. What a play by Ranchez. And she is able to get it. You said it best, Allie. Great effort there out of Ranchez. Throws out McDonald trying to get. Skirman eyeing down Wark. She'll deliver it. And it'll just be a touch high for ball four. So Oklahoma State stays alive in the inning for this Oklahoma State lineup, so you don't want her coming up with the bases loaded. Yeah, she's certainly an uh, a, a extra base hitters. Seven singles within two doubles, two triples, and three home runs, as you mentioned. As State runners are going to be moving. The delivery from Skirman. Bloodworth gets a hold of it, sent out into right center and just over the glove of Tiana Poole. And it will be a three RBI triple from Megan Bloodworth. Oklahoma State exactly what they need early in this game. Going opposite field. I really thought that ball had enough to get it over the fence. Yeah. But needless to say, a triple after back-to-back -back walks. And the free bases come back to Han Iowa State. She was the one with the big hit yesterday. She'll send that one over to Spellhog. A bit of a deja vu. She did the same in the first. So that will end at the top of the second. But Bloodworth, three-run triple out of the junior. A little bit of a comfortable spot here for Kilfoyle to have some insurance. As first hit of the day for Iowa State, Spellhog will get herself a stand-up double. To give up many runs at all. And Miner, just like she's had a lot this week, that is now the fifth time she has been hit, dating back all the way to DePaul. Completely different <laughs> situation, but very good at moving runners over. She'll put that one straight down the middle. Potential double play. And they will get it. Or actually, but runners on the corner for Iowa State. And Camille Marin, first pitch she sees, it's in play. And she'll get herself another RBI. Back-to-back -back fielder's choices here. And that one will be a four-pitch walk 
from Kilfoyle, and that's something we really do not see a lot out of the graduate student. She is tied for ninth in the least amount of walks allowed. All right, something's happening, this pitch. <laughs> not a foul ball. <laughs> and it's gonna be put in play over to second, and finally an end to Kilfoyle versus Ochoa. It will close down the inning. Iowa State gets one, 3-1. Cowgirls is warming up. And once again, over to second base. This time it's off the glove of Andrews. So Tim will reach on first. And Tim, they're a very hard hit ball. Against Houston, she went seven for nine. A seven, seven, eight batting average. Two doubles, four home runs, and 10 RBIs. Tough play for Spellhog at first, so Wong will get on, but Iowa State gets the out over at second. 1-1 one, one pitch from Charles. Davis smacks it over to Ranchez, gonna go for the double play. Cannot shoot it over to first in time, but Ranchez gets out number two. Ranchez twice now is trying to get Wong <laughs> Everett. Andrews over at second, back in inning number two. And now she'll send that one back to Andrews once again, and what a grab. McKenna Andrews flashing the leather to end the third. Iowa State keeps it at just a two-run deficit. Again, the Cyclones got wins in game one and game two, have already clinched the series, but are looking for the sweep. And now Allen is walked, and again, kind of uncharacteristic to see three views. Ranchez, it's gonna be a tough play for Oklahoma State. It's going to drop. And Allen did not get there in time, held up in case it was gonna be caught. And so Iowa State unable to have two on. The hitters just continue to get the bat on the ball. You just start to kind of ask yourself, what else can I be doing differently? Bloodworth trying to turn two, they cannot. So Ranchez out at second. Spellhog puts that one about in the same place as Ranchez, but able to get over to that is McDonald in right field. Still 3-1 after three in favor. Play back in the second. And now sends one just to her again, but that one over her fingertips. Ochoa scoops it up out in left center, but it is a base hit for McDonald. That one skied high into the infield. Miner can't grab it, but there's gonna be a play over at second. So nonetheless, Iowa State will. Of the lineup that has done damage for Oklahoma State looking to do it a second time around. Ranchez will get it over to Andrews at second. So Ranchez elects to make the play at second. It pays off. And now the Cowgirls will not have a runner in scoring position with two down. That's part of going to the ball game. <laughs> Bloodworth gets it in the air. Andrews calls off Spellhog and drops it. And this Iowa State defense who has been so reliable. She'll want to shake that. That one put out into the left center gap. And Angelina Allen is able to snatch it. So Iowa State avoids giving up any more runs after the error. Still three to one in favor of the field. It looked pretty far inside, but. And this one will not be a hit by pitch as Poulard snatches that one over at third for out number one. Early in the fourth. And now she'll send down Andrews, getting her second strikeout of the day. And McKenna Andrews there just gets caught chasing. Two count, two down. Kilfoyle trying to send the Cyclones three up and three down. And that will be the case as Marin shoots one over to second. Oklahoma State will keep their 3-1 lead heading into the fifth inning. 0-2 pitch from Charles. And now Tim shoots that one into the right center gap and it is out of here. Solo blast from Claire Tim. Claire Tim 
her fifth home run of the season, and that was a no-doubter. A line drive off the bat. I would say it didn't get more than 12 feet in the air. An absolute blast to make this game 4-1. to one. Oklahoma State finally gets themselves one of their coveted home runs this weekend. Like you said, no doubter. It's the fourth home run over this weekend. The first three were by Iowa State. Now Oklahoma. Charles looking to retire Wong. And that one is roped into the outfield. Back-to-back -back hits by the Cowgirls. And for Oklahoma State, that's exactly the bat they want to see come yes. alive. And once again ahead on the Oklahoma State hitter. Charles looking for her first out of the inning. And she will do just that, going down low. I see some big 12 innings. Yeah, and Coach Pinkerton at even That mentioned. ball is way gone. And that is the best home run that we've seen over the course of this weekend. Oklahoma State is starting to separate. There's some balls that are hit, and you just, you just know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes. that was one of them. That, this wind's blowing from left field to right field. That ball was absolutely crushed into left field. Wow. Look at the replay on this. Fully extended. She knew it. An absolute no doubter there out of Godwin. Home run number nine for the freshman. get it out. She slaps it down. Minor is going to be a tough play. And Warsop gets herself a base hit. Warsop there just too fast. Yes. There was no way with how soft she hit that absolutely perfect base hit. She's been on twice today. One walk and then also reached on a fielder's choice. And now lined over to Minor and a double play dangerous spot in the second inning. Kilfoyle has locked this thing down today. And Kilfoyle playing today, really Oklahoma State, and you see the strike out there, but Oklahoma State today playing the way we expected. Ochoa swings on that one, put out into center, and able to get under that is Tim. And that's the second time today Ochoa has really squared up a ball to center field. They are starting to rack up the runs, so... Who knows if it would have been a difference maker, but could have been. Close play at first, but Oklahoma State will get the Cyclones to go three up, three down, 6-1 in favor. But Graf, you want to go right after right now. Check swing, Ralston gets it to, not going to get it to Spellhog in time, and Carly turned around, was a bit confused. The hit that got everything started for the Cowgirls now lays down the bunt. No sin covers over at first, but they're able to advance Graf over to second. And now Poulard is walked. So two on, one down. In college softball, but these hitters today are, <laughs> they're making waves. They right. refuse to go down swing, and there we go. There's one. A strikeout there from Tim. Wong blasts that one deep and gone. Caroline Wong just hit the ball over the scoreboard in left center field. For those of you who don't realize, <laughs> that is a tall scoreboard. She just went over it. Left center field, you talk about the big hit that was she hasn't used yet this weekend. There it was. The cowgirl power has been on full display. Watch this hit. Just watch the ball. Track it, track it, track it over the scoreboard. Oklahoma State, they have been <laughs> what we expected coming into the series here today on the offensive end. Absolutely. Certainly been one of those consistent bats for the Cowgirls over the course of the weekend. And now she'll send one deep. Make it four. Oklahoma State is feeling it.
These bats have come alive. <laughs> they absolutely have. And this one, she didn't want to be outdone by Wong. She said, no. hey, watch me hit it over the scoreboard. I can, I can do, do it, it too. too. Yeah. So coming into today, Iowa State led Oklahoma State in the home run category 3-0. Oklahoma State said, nah, we're not going to let that slide. They now on Friday and Saturday, but you teed it up. It, it's been a different team here today. And now Godwin puts it out into right field, and that will close down an explosive inning number six. I'm quiet for truly two and a half games this weekend. Play out in shallow left is made by the shortstop Bloodworth to send Ranchez down. Bust in the orange Oklahoma State shirts. Gonna get their There's money's a worth. Hit. And Iowa State gets themselves a blast. Tatum Johnson steps in and delivers a run. I want to give you some perspective here on how, ball, how far that ball just went. So behind our fence, there's about 15 feet of grass. Then there's a street that you just saw three cars drive by. Then there's a tree. And now the homeowners across the street have a nice souvenir in their yard. And it appears someone's going to walk across the street and go get it right now. I think it should be like golf rules. If you hit the ball in someone's yeah. yard, the home. Foils 1-2 pitch, swung on by Morris, and she got her to go down swinging. And Lexi Kilfoyle able to come back after. Miner sends that one out into left, and Graf snatches that one to close down game number three in Ames. Oklahoma State gets one and a big one at that. Oklahoma State today, they brought the bats. They showed us why they are the number five team in the country. Four home runs on the day for the Cowgirls, and it was a great bounce back win heading into next week for them. Absolutely. Well, everyone, for Allie Cappert, I am Evan Wessling saying so long from the Cyclone Sports Complex where the final score is 10 to 2.